Other testing sites continue to see plenty of traffic as well. Copter 4 showing us the crowd over the site at the Jeffco Fairgrounds this morning. Connor McHugh joins us live there now tonight to talk more about this. And Connor, you also checked out a new mobile test van. It was up in Bailey today, so were, able, were people able to get in and out of there pretty quickly? Yeah, they were. Most people told me it took them about an hour to get tested at that van, which is a much quicker experience than people had here at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. And that is exactly the point of these mobile testing vans. Experts hope that it will fill in the gaps left by sites like this, as well as better serve parts of Colorado, like in the Northeast and in the mountains. As hundreds of cars snaked around the Jeffco Fairgrounds Monday, Thomas Harvey saw the writing on the wall. I made an appointment for 830, thinking that I should show up at 830, and there were already 600 or more cars in front of me. So instead of waiting, he made the drive to Bailey. Well, this is your assigned test case. Go ahead and open it up for me. Where a new mobile testing site offered self-administered tests. Start swabbing the right side for five seconds. In much less time. Very simple. It was really easy, and uh, the setting is much more beautiful. Bailey is among a number of communities that will see these curative testing sites every week now. It comes at a time when the demand for tests is record high, but gaps in resources remain. Our agency has done testing, um, but mostly in the fair play area. So this opportunity allowed us a great opportunity to provide testing here in Bailey. The tests at these mobile sites are available to anyone and give results in one to two days. I mean, obviously this will be a little bit trickier in uh, two months, but uh, for right now it's, it's really convenient. On Monday, they administered close to 200 tests, a new record for Park County. I think this is a great solution, and in fact, we called our primary physician first, and they were booked. And we just thought it was important to stay safe, so this provided a great solution for us. Now moving forward, these vans will stop by a number of communities in the mountains, northeast Colorado, and also here in Jefferson County and nearby Douglas County. We have posted a link on our website to where you can find all of those dates and locations at cbsdenver.com. Live tonight in Jefferson County, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.